It's unavoidable. We're going to go through things. When it rains, it pours. And sometimes we, you know, we're in the middle of the storm and we're getting drenched with no raincoat, no umbrella. What am I trying to say? Life happens. So we're going to talk to you today about being forged in the fire. Let's talk about it. How you doing? This is Terry Gown Wilson, aka your boy Brother T, here with another one. So I like to thank you and welcome to the New Life Tree, where we like to give you little pine cones of wisdom for your motivation and mental health. If you don't know what that is, stick around, stay on the channel, you'll get it. Remember, I don't know everything, but I might know a lot of things. The greatest of all time. Okay. All right. <laughs> No disrespect, champ. No disrespect. So today we're going to talk about being forged in the fire. What does that mean? When we go through our everyday lives, sometimes we hit a little rough patch there. Sometimes it's a, it's a few days long. Sometimes it's a few weeks. Sometimes it's a few years. I, be, I went through a rough patch, you know, for about three, four years straight, right? Where things just seem to not work out for my best for my for the best <laughs> that was weird okay well <laughs> things just didn't seem to work out for the best but at the end of the day it kind of did it worked out for the best in the end but going through it I, I didn't see it like that right I just thought everything was just happening to me and I was just going through all these crazy uh circumstances and you know, things, everything's just against me. But then I realized after the fact that it was all for a reason. So thinking about being forged in the fire, I want you to put in mind like when they used to, when the blacksmith used to make a, a medieval weapon, right? Everything that he made back then, especially if it was going to be, you know, uh, of quality or sharp, it had to be forged in the fire, meaning he had to melt down whatever material he was going to use, and he just molded it into what he needed it to be. And you are being forged right now in the fire if you're going through it. It means, what, that, what I mean by that, I'm tongue-tied today. What I mean by that is the person that you are to become, the person, the U2.0, the better version of you, that's what you're going to be at the end of these trials. The trial is nothing. The trials that you're going through, they're nothing but that fire that you have to put the 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 the, the, the iron or whatever you're making the, the sword out of. You're putting that in the fire, and you are the iron that's getting put into fire. So when you're going through these things, remember, when you come out at the other end and the blacksmith is doing the rest of the work, you're going to be the sharpest sword that he ever made. Now, you use the analogy how you want. The, the blacksmith can be God, right? If you believe in God. So when God forges you into the person that you're supposed to be at the end of the day, when you get through these rough times, you are going to be a very, 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 very effective tool for whatever uh, uh, he's going to use you for or for whatever you have to do in life. I want you to remember you cannot make it and you cannot make it to the point or to the level that you're uh, trying to make it to unless you go through something, right? Nobody is going to go through life with nothing terrible happening. You have to go through struggles to appreciate the struggle, first of all. And two, when you come through on the other side, it makes you appreciate, you know, what you've gotten once you break through. Right. There's no love without hate. There's no uh, uh, triumph without struggle. You have to struggle to get there. Now, let, let's say you were running in a, a marathon or, or some kind of race. It, it doesn't matter. Just just use your imagination, you know, track and field. And let's say everything you did <laughs> when you when you competed, it, like there was nobody close to you, right? You, you just beat them. Easy. 
You know, you can darn near uh, uh, run, walk, and, and beat them, and they're running at their fastest. After a while, would you appreciate the victory as much? Think about it. If you do that 10, 15 times and nobody's ever any competition at all, of course you're going to enjoy it. The first time and the second time, the fourth time, the fifth time even. When you go for 10, it's going to be awesome. When you get to 15 and 20, what's going to happen? You might get a little complacent. You might say, well, I might even not even compete this year because it's, it's too easy. I'm not getting anything out of it. And I want you to think of your life the same exact way. If you don't go through anything, you cannot become the best version of you. You know, think about it. Let's say you try to get somebody some advice and, you know, anybody can give good advice. It could be anybody. It could be a bum on the street. They can give you great advice. But understand the best advice that you'll ever get is somebody that went through what you went through and got through it and made it out a better person. For instance, let's say you're trying to get off drugs or, or kick a habit and you talk to a, a, a person that used to be on drugs and kick the habit successfully. You're going to want to talk to that person more about your situation and what you're going through than somebody that never touched it before. Me personally, I never did an illegal drug in my life. Now, you might look at me and say, <laughs> you might laugh at me and say, you were square, right? <laughs> and uh, Mike, when you're using drugs, you're only cheating yourself out of the chance to find out who you really can be. And believe me, if you don't use drugs, you can just about be anything you want to be. But I don't care. You can tease me all you want, but I never know. No illegal drugs at all. Even legal drugs, right? Marijuana is legal in, 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 in states, right? I think in Michigan it is. And I still have it. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's like. Now, a lot of you are really laughing at me now, <laughs> and it's cool. I, I'll take that. But I just never did it, right? So how can I give somebody advice on kicking a habit like that? I don't know anything about it. I don't know what it comes with. I don't know the kind of people you deal with. I, I you know, I'm not on the street dealing in that, uh, uh, that industry. You know, if, I hope this makes sense. You will want to go talk to somebody that went through that. If you are, let's say you're a lady of the night, you, you are a street walker, if you will. Um, a professional lady, <laughs> you get what I'm saying. And you talk to somebody that's never, you talk to a virgin and they're going to tell you how you can stop doing that. I mean, they can give you good advice technically, but I mean, they don't know what it's like. So they don't know your life. They don't know what you're going through. They don't know the things that you have to do to improve that situation. I think you get where I'm going with this. So you have to be forged and it's good to talk to somebody that's been forged in that same fire. A lot of pastors, when you, uh, for the people that do go to church, you're going to find that a lot of pastors have passed. They, some of them have questionable pasts. Some of them have passed, have, have a past where you, you should question them now even. But we'll talk about that later. <laughs> but, you know, one thing about it is a lot of them have been through things, which makes them more, uh, makes it more of an expertise when they talk to you. If you talk to a pastor that has never been through anything, has always had a silver spoon in his mouth, maybe he was rich from birth. I mean, he could technically give you great advice. He could technically tell you what you need to be doing in your life. But if you're going through all these crazy things, he won't really understand. He can't truly uh, uh, empathize or know what you're going through. It's hard for him to put himself in your shoes Unless he's been in your shoes. Look for life to throw you curveballs. That's what this whole episode is about. I don't care what it is. Trust me. If I listed out the things I've been through over the last three to four years, you would think I'm lying to you. Crazy. My family knows. My, my intimate, uh, immediate family, they know. So take it from a person that that you know um that has been through a lot that you're going to be better at the end of the day trust me <laughs> that is if you endure to the end and don't give up 
don't give up because there's always as long as you wake up in the morning you have another chance that's another chance to have a better day a better week a better month a better year you get what i'm saying do you get where i'm going with it get ready because your life is going to get better now you can't give up you can you can say forget it I'm not even going to try anymore because obviously my life is screwed up. I'm a terrible person and blah, 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 blah. And you're ready to give up. I only have uh, one thing to say to you. Actually, I'm not going to say it. I'm going to let Jet Li say it. That was a mistake. So make sure you get ready to be the better version of you. You can't be the better version of you unless you go through something. So make sure you make it through it if you're going through it right now. Prepare yourself just in case you have to go through it later. This is your man, Brother T. Being forged in the fire is important, especially for men out there. If you're a young man and you're getting ready to go into adulthood, know that you're going to have trials. Don't be mad at the trials that come. Don't be discouraged by the trials that come. I want you to embrace the trials that come because they're going to make you into the man that you're going to be at the end of the day. And sometimes the harder the trial, the better man you will be at the end of that day. This is your man, Terry Gon Wilson. This was a nice one, wasn't it? I want to check you on the next one, family. Peace.